Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time of the day you're watching this video. This is Amit Soda back again as a part of the Business Spotlight series again. And today we've got with us Vijay from 99 Homes. He's got a successful business which has been running for the last five years and um, he's got a staff force of 30 people and a remarkable growth journey. Really proud and pleased to have Vijay on board with us. Welcome to the session. Vijay, how are you? Thanks, Amit. Uh, I'm not bad. Uh, I would say this is uh, not bad is not my word. I'm fantabulous. Love the sound of that. Making up your words as well. Love it. So, Vijay, uh, tell, I've, I've had the privilege to talk to you before the um, interview and you've shared some remarkable stories about yourself. But let's start off by maybe you giving us a brief overview about what your business is and what kind of service you provide. All right. Night and Home established 2017. We are hybrid sales let management auction company we sell we let we do auction and we manage properties nationwide now going globally uh, as well just a bit about 19 home we are fifth largest hybrid estate agent have sold almost five billion worth of properties we are first on trust pilot when it's come to customer service and most of the most of our staff is qualified in terms of property, Arla, Nia, Nava, you name the qualification. I'm a technical person. We are not a state agent. We are a prop tech company. So people think they get confused. What you are, you know, Amazon and Asda, they're both selling milk. They're both selling mobile as well. But Amazon is a digital, uh, you know, uh, service provider and as there is a supermarket a similar stories with us people just get confused you are a state agent no we are not we are a protect company but yes we're giving the same sort of solution much better price and better service love the sound of that i don't think i've ever come across the term prop tech before um but within five years you've got the fifth largest hybrid online estate agency five billion pounds of the sales so tell us i mean in the five-year journey, remark, obviously, you've had like an exponential growth. Could you maybe talk to us about what would you say are the top three things that contributed to such quick growth over the last five years for you? Actually, observation of market. What is happening in market? Mm. It's just like, you know, you have a ball and uh, you, I don't know if you like football or not. You know where to pass, whom to give, whether to put directly in goal or whether to pass to midfielder or, you know, the same thing, you observing your market, you observing what is happening. So observation skill is mandatory to run any business. Mm -hmm. The second thing is your strategy, what is happening in market, your competitive, you know, advantage, why are you better than other, why people would come to you, right? It's not the price always, it is a service as well. I have mm -hmm. seen there's some people that charge a good amount, but their service is brilliant. So they are not really, not everyone is going to shopping in Asda or Poundland. Some people go to Harrods as well. Yeah. So, but I don't go to Harrods. <laughs> That's a different story. So yes. Uh, and uh, uh, the thing, thing, the most important thing is technology. Mm -hmm. Keeping uploaded with the technology. Interesting. Technology, strategy, and observation. So... Clearly, five years, you made amazing progress. You've got three key things that have worked really well for you along the way. And you've got a team of 30 people. You said to me before the session that a part of them are in the technology space, part of them are in the sales and marketing space, some compliance admin. Um, talk to me about how you run your teams to help you achieve such fast and good growth, given you've got um, so much good uh, reviews on Trustpilot. How do, how do you get the best out of your teams? Okay. So in-house team is around 30 people, but there is a team, they are not in our payroll, but working for us uh, day in, day out. They are into property industry. There are around 50 plus people. Wow. Nationwide. Uh, so team, we have divided our team. Sales is a different letting, management, auction, compliance, and of course, technical team. Being a tech person, I want to keep everything, you know, uh, on board. So qualified professionals, they're working. Uh, actually, technology is playing a massive role. For what the amount of transaction we have done, honestly speaking, if we were in back in 20, uh, you know, 20 years back, we would be talking about 50, 60 people, basically. But now 50% job is done by automation. A client is doing for us, basically. 
putting such as, you know, in UK per hour you pay. But if a client is putting 80% information over system that you're saving money, you just doing a verification, you checking compliance and mm -hmm. that's all it is basically. Awesome, awesome. So you mentioned before the interview, a really important word. In the UK, people like to DIY, do it them, do it by themselves. And that seems to be one of the principles you re really use to leverage time and money and technology to help people do it themselves. So talk to a bit, talk to us a bit about what kind how how you went about getting confidence in the concept of putting in the customer's lap to do all the work. There's a one thing I when I was when I was doing MBA, I studied consumer behavior. Uh -huh. Right? You must respect all sort of customer. As I mentioned, there are some people they love shopping uh, in Poland and some people they just don't go anywhere apart from Herod's. Right. So we have we catered both. You come, you what you want. You want I can do you know X amount of work. I don't want to pay amount this much. 99 pound DIY service for you. You want to work as a team, perfectly fine. We will do 70% job, you will do 30% job. That's a team, that's 599. Now you want to sit back. You say, guys, really, I don't want to do anything. You do everything. It's 1,099 pounds. That, that, that's the level. If you say, guys, I don't want to pay anything, sell my property completely. I don't want, I don't want to pay any upfront fees. Then no point nine nine. Company name is 99 home. Everything started with 99. So you still have a better value for money compared to our competitors. And the one guarantee, if you're not happy with the customer service, money refunded. That's wow. the ultimate goal. We have one of the highest, uh, you know, rating on Trust Planet. We treat our customer, you know, like a god. And whether they are good, bad, end of the day, even if they are unhappy, they, they see, okay, you know what? You have put massive effort. You've done a great job you deserve basically and that's what all the mantra of success mm. giving a customer amazing success amazing experience and even if they don't get what they want they still think you know what you've done a great job you keep the money um and it's really interesting you touched on the fact that a consumer really understanding your customer um i suppose that's one of the reasons why we've all been given one mouth and two ears it seems as if you pay a lot of attention on listening to what the customers need and then servicing that. So you said you've got kind of four key programs or four key um, approaches and all different versions of to what extent they want to do it or why. So, um, and you learn all that in the MBA series. So clearly you, you've, got, you've got an MBA, you, you're really into your education and learning about how to run a really good business. So talk to me about learning on the job along your journey as you've been achieving these successes. What would you say are your top three takeaways from learning on the job and learning from the experience you've had? <clears throat> the three most important thing is, uh, you know, look after your, your team first. Mm. So they are looking after your business. Make sure you look after them. Very much inspired by Tata, right? Uh, uh, in very known figure, following his foot, foot step, to be very honest with everyone. So, Every Saturday, I have a session with my team, one hour session, 45 minute session, completely open to them, laughing, chatting, teasing. You know, I never let them feel that they are talking to the boss. Uh, just like them, okay guys, we also have a web session Saturday, most of the time. And, uh, you know, teaching them, you know, some lesson, okay guys, this is telling them the company situation. Guys, we are in profit, we are in loss. I need your help. Mm. And you know what? They work just like a gang. Right? Just It's the, just like a football team. You have a football team. And if someone touch you, your, play, your team player, even though he's on the wrong side, they will come and support you. And that's what I have made it. And I feel it. You know what? I will look after them. They will look after my business. Brilliant. You look after them. They look after your business. And the kind of circle goes around. That's an amazing way of uh, putting it, really. We teach something similar in Action Coach. You look after your team, your team look after your customers, your customers look after the business, the business looks after you. This is amazing. amazing. So that's the first 
key takeaway. And that's what Richard Branson says, your company's number one asset is not your customers, it's your business itself. What else would you want to share as um, a key learning you've had um, along the way? Tracking the market. Sorry? Tracking the market. Wow. Tell us more. So, so tracking market is, you know, whatever you're doing, if you don't have market knowledge, you can't mm. do anything. Make sure you must know what is happening, what your competitor's doing. And that should not be on paper. That should be in your head, basically. Mm. They're doing this. And this is what the next move they're going to do. And that's what I will be doing if they do this. That's how I'm going to do this. Honestly speaking, Nine and Home did not spend money on marketing. From where we are getting clients, a story. We sold one guy property somewhere, big boss. He had around 4,000 employees, right? And he was, you know, amazed. He sold his uh, one million worth of property, just 99 quid. He sent an email to all team member. If you need property service, this is the company. Now that is word of mouth. And our 80% client is coming from word of mouth. 97% retention client. And you know what? The piece of third point is how easy your CRM or, you know, uh, your the system should be. When I started, I given uh, my system to test my daughter, five-year-old daughter. Uh, can you do something, whatever you fill the forms? When we went live, a guy from Scotland, of course, I can give you his name, 75 year old, and he uploaded his property. I next day I called him, say, You who uploaded your property? Say, I uploaded myself. So, okay, you're 75. Are you tax heavy? So, no, you don't have to be tax heavy. It's just like filling their uh, flight tickets. You know, on that day, I realized whatever you're doing, you're doing absolutely spot on. So, keep mm -hmm. it up. And wow. This is, I have loads of story. One guy back in day one, he got offer on his mobile SMS alert. Okay, 450K his property price. Offer was 475, 11, half 11 at night. He couldn't get sleep all night. The first thing in the morning, luckily he had my mobile number. He called me, Vijay, are you sleeping? I said, yes, I was. Tell me, I, I got an offer, 25K above asking price. So, okay, that's good. Well done. So no, you 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 have done everything. Honestly, honestly speaking, I have done nothing. It is the guy who done everything. He listed. He showed. I just created the platform. Mm. Remarkable. So you're literally changing people's lives, helping people move forward in the life, and helping them basically sell one of the biggest assets, which is probably difficult to sell, generally speaking. So do you have any success stories? I'm pretty sure you do. You have plenty of success stories where the customers have actually giving you a bonus and said, hey, look, this was worth way more than 99 quid. Here's an extra 500 pounds as a thank you or receiving a big basket of, I don't know, like a hamper through the door or something. Clearly, for such a price when you're selling stuff, what kind of gratitude have you have you received? We have received a couple of time, you know, uh, one instance, property in Reading, 750K. Again, one of uh, top guy, he... He said, I don't trust you. Clearly written in email, although I don't trust, but I'm going to take a chance. So, okay, that's perfectly fine. His property went live. He was the first person to test the system. Okay, he got email, he got queries, perfectly fine. He had 26 query day one. By weekend, he had 52 queries. His property sold, like he agreed price. The day he was showing property, three or four offer. And he said, you know what, guys, thank you very much. Uh, I'm buying another package. That time we used to have 499 package. I think, you know, that is my uh, thank you to you guys. And had four offer, you know, above asking price, what you can, we saved him. He said, I was almost about to sign up with a high state estate agent, but I did not. Okay. Somebody told me, and I just thought, you know, what, give it a go. It's 99 quid. It's, it's, I spent overnight actually in a restaurant. So, so that's a story for us, basically, perfectly Amazing. fine. And Amazing. it cost us literally, you know, technology, that's it. Cost you technology. So you clearly are a huge investor in technology and um, it's basically made the business for you, technology has. So um, you seem like a person with huge aspirations for the future. You've made so much great success in five years. Let's look forward five years now. 
where do you hope to be in the next five years? What does the future look like for you, maybe? First thing, we want to go for IPO. So we are not considering this moment to, you know, there are companies they are looking at buy, but we are not thinking about it. The second thing is we want to dominate the market. We want mm. to take control of one store property shop. When you think about property, you think about 19 and home. Simple as that, whether sales, let, management, auction, insurance, legal, whatever, you need even handyman. So we everything is under one roof. Fantastic. There's a more pro tax solution we're building day by day. And hopefully in a few years' time, we will be, you know, we are already launched our franchisee this year last year. Mm. Uh, we heading towards Europe. We have already done some transaction in Europe. So we are going global. That's Smashing. the other thing is, you know, to take control. And third most important thing is hit USA. Until now, you will see the US-based company coming to UK. They're doing this, this and that. We want to be the company hitting, going back to the, you know, USA. Okay. Hello, guys, coming from UK. You know, to yeah. the market. Smashing. Amazing. So IPOs hitting the USA, going global, um, and just known as the one-stop shop when it comes to property, really inspirational. Along the way, no doubt, you probably know and agree that you will face business challenges as you come across. Yes, they're going to be a challenging economic and political backdrop. And we know we can't do much directly about what happens in the economy, what happens in the market. But clearly, you're going to be facing challenges internally as a business, the challenges of growth, as every business owner does. So would you want to maybe highlight what couple of business challenges you may face as you look to grow um, to meet those goals in the next three to five years? You know, funding is the key component. Mm. We are the only company that hasn't got a massive funding. If you look at our computers, 100 million, 50 million, 70 million, they have good funding. We, nope. So self-sustained uh, company with limited resource. The beautiful thing is, you know, your engine play a massive role. Now, when you look at 19 home, I'm tax heavy. You, I'm technical, hardcore technical. I sleep, drink, eat properties, prop tech, you know, that's what it is. You ask me, hey guy, play golf with me on Sunday. I said, no. My peace of mind is, you know, doing automation or, you know, making something a solution. Golf is not something for me. What you interest, you're, I'm crazy, you can say, basically. Uh, my wife normally say, you know, you married to 19 home, not to me, basically. So this is, you know, every household story, if you're running a business. But yes, you know, one thing is, if you're doing something, you do it with your, you know, from bottom of your heart. Yeah. Challenges, uh, COVID. When COVID came, you know, I was telling you that you look after team, team will look after you. Uh, I can remember I was literally, you know, uh, was very worried. One of my colleagues came and she said, you know, what's the matter? I said, look, how I, I don't know how I'm going to pay the salaries actually because one week you're getting X in thousands of uh, revenue. In the second week, less than a grand. You know that, okay, you have to, you know, spend X amount on salaries. How you want to pay? If situation continues, that will kill the business. And the first thing, you know what? I won't take salary. If you're working, thinking about salary, don't give me the salary. And I was looking, you know what? I'm happy to have people in my team. When good time is there, they are fine. But when bad time is coming, they are saying, don't pay the salary, but we are wow. And I feel, you know, okay, I feel you like, okay, you know, not a gangster, but okay, I have a team who is truly, deeply and madly in support with me. Few people left us and then they came back. So you know what, wherever they went, they didn't like it. I think this is the best place to work. But the second thing is making your working environment is best. Yeah making the best working environment. So naturally, as you grow, focusing on make, keeping your working environment right up there um, and the funding part as well, to fund your growth is something you'll think about. 
Awesome. So final question as you round up, some great learnings over here. Um, as you, you've been in business for many years and before that you worked in the corporate world, but no doubt you were 18, 18 years old at some stage. So what advice would you give to an 18 year old person who's got huge aspirations and wants to get somewhere? What advice would you share with them? Dream. Think. Chase your dream. And do it now. I regret sometime. When I was 18, I was an amateur boxer. Oh, wow. So my, I wanted to go, you know, full time in boxing. But things change, you know, uh, moved away from boxing to uh, study computers. But... I knew I had a business mind when I was 18. And these are the potential. I used to tell my dad, look, if we open a shop, this shop here, there's no shop around this. It will be a good business. And he looked, yeah, you are right, but you're not doing this. So yeah, I'm not doing this. And I see a couple of years later, yes, there was a shop and I was a spot on. So lots of things in technical terms, you know, cloud storage. I was the one in 2001, I was thinking about cloud storage. And I told my boss, he said, Whoop, do your work. Uh, but again, you dream it, but make sure just do it now. Tomorrow will never come. Brilliant. This is what dream I did when I came home. I left my job. I'm going to do, I'm not putting my both foot in two different, uh, uh, you know, boats. I will be in one boat. And I will be doing it. I know I can do it. Amazing. Amazing. The, the faith you say that with, the conviction you have, um, you can say it's so genuine. It's right down to your bone. And your, your key learning or takeaway for people who are just starting out their professional lives, dream it and just do it with the level of faith and um, encouragement that you've got. Vijay, we sadly are out of time, but some clear, clear, clear gems of great information. I've got a whole page of notes, by the way. And which I'll be populating the um, the video description with later on. But Vijay, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. We can talk for a whole hour, I think, almost, and you keep sharing. We've got to draw a draw line over there. Thank you so much. Thank you have very a, much. Have a lovely afternoon, and um, speak to you later. Thank, Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.